my name is Scott for SP Gaming. We are back here in Prison Architect Alpha 34, and I did a little bit of stuff off camera. And I'm recording this immediately after the planning episode, so obviously no comments or suggestions or feedback will be taken into account in this episode. But uh, coming up over the next couple of episodes, as we start to build our prison, we will obviously be able to any suggestions or ideas I can implement. But uh, until then, um, I did kind of outline these various uh, cell blocks. And I might as well put in the yard. <laughs> yard like this. And uh, some of like that. There'll be a whole bunch of different yards because of reasons. And yeah, that is annoying. That is very, very annoying. Let's see, I have been thinking about expanding definitely over here. That will allow me to pro create a proper yard on that side. But uh, until then, I'll have to do with it as I can. But of course, by the time we get to that point, it's not going to really matter because, uh, yeah, reasons. So we are going to get started with building this. And the first thing I want to do first thing that needs to get done is to build the central corridor and it is for the most part going to be all indoors and so yeah I might as well build the entire thing which will be yeah, 79,000 not 79 7920 and that's yeah about uh, a quarter of my money right there I'm going to want to have the offices as soon as possible as well. So I'm going to do that. But uh, we are going to put in not staff door. Or not staff. <laughs> staff door there. We are going to have to have a large jail door there. And I'm going to throw in. Yeah, these are going to be large jail doors there. And yeah, something like that. I can always add those in later. But uh, let's get time on the road. Huh. All right. So we have $11,000. We might as well. Yeah, we are going to need. Oh, no, we aren't. We are going to be able to bring in. Or we, we don't need anything to get uh, grants. That's awesome. So. Yeah, basic detention center and administration center. Those are the probably the very first two that you want to get just because of reasons. And it has been quite a while since I've been back to the blank canvas of an empty prison. So this is going to feel a bit different because of, yeah, reasons. Anyway, I am going to want to... No, I'm not going to... Not going to do anything other than this. Let's crank the speed up to three. I want to get the offices done as soon as possible. And yeah, they are working on that. Those guys are working on that. I'm going to. Not objects. Two, three, four. I always like to try to get to the prison up and running for, of course, day two. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. But, uh,. All right, so this looks like it's going to get done pretty quickly. And one thing I didn't plan for was power and water. Okay, about that. Well, we have plenty of space up in, up in here. So this was going to be a kennel. See, I'm going to put in objects. Or not objects. Utilities. I'm going to put a station or a power station up here. Right about there. I'm obviously not going to be able to afford, yeah, more than one. And I'm definitely not going to be able to, well, I'll put in a few along here. We are going to want to run power and probably... 
probably run power like this. Straight across. To about here. And I'm also going to want to have this power extend down here. So that will be the first step. And they're done that. I'm going to dismantle object, make sure they don't put any lights in, because I will place them where I want them to be. With that said, we are going to want to designate rooms and we are going to need an office. We'll put that as the warden's office, office desk, or maybe we'll make it as the, uh... yeah, about that. <laughs> we'll put the uh, warden, yeah, warden can be, warden's fine there. There, and we're going to want to have a filing cabinet, 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 right there. And what I might as well just do is do the same thing. Office desk. Do that. There, right there, and right there. Chairs. And filing cabinets. Oh, there's all we run there. Right there, there. And there. Now we are going to obviously need a warden. We'll hire him. And yep, we've hired a warden. We have need to build two offices, unlock finance, and hire an accountant. So let's continue on this. And they are speeding. That is the best I've seen them work. They're not doing a scattered approach where they do one tile here, one tile here, one tile here, one here, tile here. They're actually working in a line like you would have an, on an actual construction site. <laughs> they are going to be finished that. Yep. Objects, dismantle lights. I'm just going to cancel those lights. Cancel that. Yep. Why would you put a light right there? Right in the doorway. Oh, that's so annoying. Because you click on the doorway thinking that you're going to open the door and you end up clicking on the light. Anyway, with that said, I am going to build more foundations. Oh, that's right. I was also going to do a holding cell. Well, that might not be a plan, so I'm going to just, uh, yeah, I'm going to do foundations here up to about, uh, right here, and I'm going to do foundations, get this hallway in, although for now, I'm just going to go to about here, roughly. Maybe there. We are just going to need to work in this area. I am going to need a holding cell for the grant, but uh, we can use one of these rooms like the, you know what? I'm just going to build this. Might as well build all this. Going to have to do it anyway, so I might as well do it now. Yeah, we'll let that get taken care of. They are working on that. Although they are kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of working in an angle there. You missed the spot. You decided to put down a filing cabinet, which is fine. 
since I need the warden's office as soon as possible. Okay, that is done. So I'm going to not sell object. Dismantle objects. We're just going to make sure that they don't put any lights in. And we just need an office desk. Right now it is about 3.30 in the afternoon. On day one we have $21,000 in the bank. And what have they been doing? Oh, they've been putting in the electricity in there. You know what? It looks like they've somewhat improved it. They improved how workers build stuff. Somewhat. <laughs> what I might just do Building concrete. Yep. 7,000. No problem. Objects. Large jail door there. Large jail door there. We're going to want to have a large jail door here. Large jail door there. Yep. All right, so now at this point, what I can do is lay down fencing. Since I am going to want fencing, although, yeah, I don't have enough money for a perimeter wall, so I'll just I'll settle for fence at the moment. And this will go all the way around. Although for now, yeah, I'm just going to go to here, just to here. Objects. We're going to put in a. Jail door there. Materials. Fence. Okay, so that yard will be enclosed, so that's no problem there. Put that in there. Put that in there. And actually, I might want to. Yeah, we're going to have a door in there. Oh, no. We're going to have a door probably here. I'll put another door here. I'll, yeah, I'll just put a fence there. And yeah, we're going to probably have a door there. Just allow patrols to go through. But they will get late now. Let there be light. Oh, wait a minute. I have to put down lights. <laughs> All right, about that. So I might as well put them in. So here, here, yeah. One thing I didn't check to see if the lights were actually in the right spot. So, yeah. I just prefer to manually put them in because... It just makes sense that way. Oh. Yeah, let's uh, just get rid of those. And remove those, so that's fine. All right, so I'm going to want to put in a concrete wall. Here and here. All right. Let's let that continue. We are going to want to put in the reception room, and I will make sure to put it in now. Uh, objects. I have a table here. A table here. And office desk, and chair, like that. Chapel, I can leave for now. Although, 
yeah, I'm going to want to have as much security here. So it's pretty much going to be GL doors with door servos. Same thing with that. Storage, it won't have any access to, to the rest of the prison, so that's fine. And into the canteen. Yeah, with door servos. All right, so we'll let that continue. We have $8,000. And do I have an office? Yes, I do. I just, that's right. So <laughs> let's get researching finance to allow us to, of course, uh, get another grant as well as a lot of other stuff. They are working on that. Are we going to be in a position to be able to bring in prisoners? I don't think so. We would obviously have to have a kitchen. We'd have to have a canteen. We'd have to have, you know what? What I'm going to do is actually flip this around. So the storage is over here, kitchen's over here because I can put a doorway in and allow my low and medium security prisoners to work in here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll basically flip this around. Have like that and that. We're gonna have sinks along the sides, I think. We're gonna have cookers and fridges in the center here. Something like that. And then like that. Alright. And yeah, this is going to be storage. So let's change those room designations around. Storage is over here. This is going to be the canteen. So I'm going to build more foundations. I'm going to build this to here. I might as well build this as well. And I'm down to $800. <laughs> uh, oh, this not, might not be good. I might have blown my money. Can I even hire an accountant? On the one hand, I am making $17, so I can let time tick and not have to worry about running out of money. But uh, accountants, $1,000. Ouch. You know what? Yeah, I think I overspent. <laughs> yeah, I think. What I could do if I... Oh, I don't even have money for guards. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So... Alright, I'm going to have rooms and office. Right here. Oh, no, not there. That is a second office done. We just have to unlock that. Hire an accountant. $17 an hour. It's going to take a while. <laughs> yeah, about that. What we could do if we wanted to, although... No, we are no way, nowhere near that. Oh, and yeah. All right, well. What I can do... Oh, yes. Sell me some logs. There, we can afford the accountant. Ha, ha, ha. Insufficient funds, that's fine. No route. Oh, bother. All right, so. Put a jail door there. Grant completed. That gives us an extra $5,000. So what I'm going to do is focus on the kitchen. I'm going to focus on the canteen. I will need at least two guards. That's a $1,000. Two guards, $500 a day. Not $500 a day. $1,000. Cooks are going to be $1,000. So I'm going to need to spend $2,000 for this. 
Do I'm, am I going to need a valid kitchen and canteen? <laughs> I'm also going to need a holding cell, but that is what this is for. So, we are going to just... Oh, you, you didn't. You just didn't. You know what? I don't like the lights there. I want them in the center, so that's not going to work for me. Take them out. Take them out. Nope, nope. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Thank you. All right. So with that said, what I am going to do is... I have six hours before prisoners potentially coming in. Materials, no, rooms, holding cell. This is going to be a holding cell. And what I will do is, as I have money, I will add actual cells. So about that. What we are going to do is put in a bench. Right about, I'll put the bench somewhere. <laughs> right there, should be fine. I'm going to put in a large jail door right here. I'm going to put in showers right here. I'm going to put in toilets right here. And I am going to put in... Oh, how, how was my plan? How did I plan this? You know what? I'm going to put the toilet at the back. Do I want to put the toilet on the back? No, 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 no. This one may have to be different. I'm going to put the toilets on the inside. Probably going to have showers as well on the inside. But... Right here. There. And so holding cell requires enclosed, five by five, indoors, toilets, and benches. I am going to need a water pump. Fortunately, we get one for free. <laughs> So I don't have to worry about buying one. But with that said, yeah, power here. I'm gonna put the water pump down in this corner or maybe over here. Utilities, water pump. Right about here. And what I can do no, I can't. Maybe I may want to put it somewhere else. No, that's fine. I was thinking about putting a second power block here, but uh, that might be a little bit complicated. There is something I was taking a look at on the internet here. The power switch can be used to toggle the availability of electricity to any cable connected to it. And basically what it means is if I wanted to, I could put a power switch right there and I can turn it on or off. And that will allow me to connect up an entire grid and basically disable the power switches just to have different electrical grids. So I may play around with those. I might not, it all depends. Anyway, we have the holding cell. We just have to wait for the toilet and the bench to be put in. And so I'm going to want to have, yeah, we're gonna have, let's see, I'm gonna put that in like that. Large pipe, I'm going to run a large pipe through here, through here, maybe, <laughs> yeah, large pipe through here, but not that much, I don't need that much, 
So a bit there, we're gonna connect it to here, up to here, and there. Electrical cable, like that. I'll connect that. And I'm going to want to run power down to something like that. And I'm going to let time run. So we are going to be able to get a holding cell. I need to build a shower. Technically, I need to build a shower. So, yeah, let's uh, make a shower right here. Materials, I'm going to want to have yeah, concrete there, concrete there. And of course, floor drains. Right there. Utilities. So connect that up like that. Connect this up to here. Connect this up to here. Down to 2600 and we can bring in another grant question is bureaucracy of course we got that approved so I'm going to want to pay for the extra grant I'm going to want to make sure to put down oh we already have her awesome so that will be working on that I'm also going to go back to bureaucracy and we are going to want to have legal I'll leave for now maintenance security we're going to want to have security for sure for sure so I'll let that continue I'll hold off because I don't have a whole lot of money but uh, I will jump back to grants and we're going to do I'll do long-term investment Maybe not. Actually, I can. Oh, no, I can't. I... Cancellation cost. Repayment of minus 5,000. Fine of 500. Really? I think there is a mistake there because it's supposed to be uh, a repayment of plus 5,000 or no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, it's minus 5,000, so you get it. You get it back, but then you have to pay another $500. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so, what we will do instead is just sell objects. And that's just waiting on shower heads. Do I got any more? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm down to $821 in the negatives. It is currently getting close to 8 a.m. So the question now is, of course, do I bring in prisoners? With that said, this will be a good time to say that uh, intake will have to come next time. Thank you for watching this episode of Prison Architect. Alpha 34, the what I'm tentatively calling the Gang War Edition. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.